Hello there. In, in this video tutorial, we'll show you how to develop, uh, how to install Visual Studio 2019, uh, especially with the Visual C++ components. Uh, go to, just launch, let me launch it. So this I am actually explaining it uh, from an Oracle virtual box uh, with the Windows 7 installed. Uh, you can go to Visual Studio Community Edition, first of all, let me close it. Visual, go to Visual Studio, Studio, Community, Edition, Download, okay? Community Edition Download. So it will navigate to the Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. We need to download Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition here. Studio Community 2019. Okay, there I will go. Go there. We'll go and I can I will download the Community Edition. It's a bare minimal setup file where it will automatically get installed online. It will get all the components will get installed online um, based on the component which you actually selected. So just download Visual Studio Community Edition. Um, so okay should automatically get downloaded so it should download it should start download now yeah so it's just a 1.3 mb that uh, so once this gets launched it will automatically based on the components installed it will automatically uh, uh, launch from this application it will, um, when you run this application it will first uh, check it and it will just uh, launch the application i mean the setup installer let's launch it yeah so we need to install a few things continue so we're just trying to install something so some uh, some of the necessary components it might be installing it here so it's just installing it installing the necessary components before it get lost uh, it will it will get launched with the visual studio components that needs to be installed and selected and installed So it got installed. Now we can select it. So it gets launched. Now it, it's actually displaying all the um, Visual Studio components that you, that you can install it. Uh, from this installation setup uh, so <clears throat> what we need to do is our aim is to install Visual C++ components um, and uh, if, if you want by default uh, with C sharp .NET and other uh, related components .NET related components will be automatically get installed uh, if you want to install Visual C++ component you need to explicitly select it and then install it so that is that is uh, one thing which um, we need to uh, we need to understand regarding Visual Studio uh, in a community edition installation because Visual C++ is actually optional here in installation so um, so it is actually listed here uh, there so msvc see this desktop in c++ uh, just select it so it make sure that it, it is having all the things like mfc and other stuff so make sure that you install c++ mfc uh, then uh, then c++ cli uh, c++ build tools uh, this one clang then uh, then 
you can select if you want you can select the windows 10 sdk if needed okay but that is not needed this is also optional mfc 2017 optional this is uh, needed but it is optional if you want you can select it you, you can also install other components like sp.net or other c sharp dotted components but um, our aim is to install c++ so that's why we actually selected desktop development with c++ just try to install it needs this much amount of gb is needed just uh, click on install so once you get clicked this will automatically get started installing this this installation will um, uh, uh, will uh, take a while uh, to download and install it so uh, and, uh, so um, uh, this is what uh, you basically you need to do if you want to install visual c++ components so once you, it gets installed it will uh, the visual studio will get automatically get launched um, and after the application uh, installation gets finished, the uh, window will be uh, uh, Visual Studio 2019 window uh, will be launched uh, like this. You can either sign in uh, to uh, to um, uh, to the Visual Studio uh, system uh, using uh, uh, either using your existing ID or you can create a new one. You, um, then, uh, or uh, you, you can you can sign in later. Uh, for the time I'm just clicking here here. Uh, so development settings, I am just uh, checking for selecting the Visual C++ development settings and then starting the Visual Studio. So this might take, uh, to configure this uh, uh, environment, this might take a bit uh, more time. Uh, once, uh, the, once the environment settings is done, uh, the application will, uh, Visual Studio will get automatically get launched. And then you can uh, do uh, the application development and other stuff by selecting new from the file menu, and uh, new projects from the file menu and other things. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. Um, and I, will, I will be back with another set of tutorials like a Hello World tutorial and other things as uh, soon. Thank you. Thank you for your time.